workout. Uh, we're going to build on our stability and control workout we did yesterday, but we're going to add in some more complex full body movements. So now we're starting to incorporate that stability into some more skillful athletic things. Uh, we're going to do the same workout structure. You're going to see this all week. We're going five moves, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds of rest. We're going to rest a minute between rounds and we're going to go for four total rounds. Okay? We're going to start with a three exercise warm up to get the joints primed and ready for what's to come. We're going to start with a fire hydrant. So we're going to warm up the posterior hip, uh, the external rotators of the hip. Uh, very, very important for doing any lateral type movements that we're going to get into uh, later on in the workout. Um, and excellent for low back stability. So, fire hydrant. We're going to get into an all fours position. We're going to call this quadruped for the duration of the four weeks. So our quadruped position, hands under shoulders, knees under hips, elbow crease in line with the thumb. So we're going to screw those elbows into the floor. Okay. From this position, you're going to take your one leg. So we'll go left leg first. And I want you to take the outside of your knee and your ankle at the same time up towards the sky, squeeze, lower, reset as we always do. Reset, get strong, opposite side, up and squeeze, down and control. Now what we don't want to see here is that you're twisting through your back, okay? The chest stays right in line with the floor and you're just getting whatever you can get out of the outside of that hip. Squeeze, keeping that back nice and flat. Now, you want to make this a little bit more difficult. A mini band is an excellent addition to your home fitness repertoire. Throw a little bit, of, or throw that mini band down around the knees here, and now you're squeezing out against the band. Your range of motion will be less, but the resistance is higher, making this a little bit more difficult. Okay? After our fire hydrants for the prescribed reps, as will be in the video description as always, we're going to go to our open book T-spine rotation drill. Okay, so upper back mobility is super important for low back stability and shoulder health. Very, very critical. So what we're gonna do here, quadruped position. Okay, hand on the back of the head. We're gonna do left side first, right side second for the prescribed reps. Elbow comes in to the opposite arm, and then we're gonna rotate up towards the ceiling as high as we can go, squeeze that elbow to the ceiling down and repeat opening up like a book okay now what we want to see here we don't want to have the hips shift okay so we're not trying to side bend the hips and get as far as we can we want this to come as much from the upper back as we possibly can squeezing out that mobility and getting your prescribed reps okay and then we're going to finish off our warm-up with some hamstring sweeps so here we get the heart rate up and we're also going to warm up close to your chain. So we're going to do a little jog on the spot. You're going to stop, put one leg forward, toes come up, and you're going to just scoop your arms up nice and high, back to a run. So we're going to run, stop, straight leg here, sweep, and we're going to run. Run, stop, sweep, and repeat for the prescribed reps on each side. Okay, so we're gonna really prime that backside and get ready for the workout. All right, here's the workout for Tuesday. So we're gonna start out with some uh, heart rate elevation. We're gonna get the metabolism up right away. We're doing, again, the same 45 second inter, uh, intra work period, sorry, and the 15 second rest period. Five exercises, one minute rest between rounds, four total rounds for the workout. So here we go, long striders. It's a cross country skier type exercise. So entry level, if you need to just get a feel for this movement or you're not ready for something that's fast and explosive, split switches. So here we go, lunge position. We're just gonna really quick switch feet. So switch, 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 okay? That's our starting point, okay? We want to eventually or if you can do it right off the, off the bat, get fast and explosive, where we're switch, 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 like we're skiing, okay? Fast, get the heart rate up. Now, an excellent addition, this is totally uh, extra. If you have little weight plates at home, or if you wanna use two cans of soup, 
You get a little bit of weight in the hands, and now there's a little bit of extra upper body strength involved as we do our split switches. Okay? So there's a little added bonus. And then we're going to get our basket, backpack, uh, laundry bin, whatever you've got for your deadlifts. We're going to load it up with weight, books, canned goods, dumbbells, weight plates, whatever you got lying around, single kettlebells, double dumbbells, whatever you have to get a little bit heavy here. Okay? And we're going to do deadlifts. So a deadlift is a two-part movement. It's a hip hinge. We've been working on that on Monday and in our warm-up. Okay, where we're bringing the hips back, 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 like we're shutting a car door with our bum, and then we finish the movement with our knees. Okay, now we grab our weight and we lift knees, hips, squeeze through, reverse. Hips, 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 finish with the knees, tap, and go. Okay, so then we're gonna do our deadlifts for 45 seconds. This is all about control and perfect repetitions. You want to keep that chest up nice and proud, like you're showing the, the name of your school across your chest. Okay? Good deadlifts. 45 seconds there, set down your heavy basket or weight, and then we're going to plank up downs. So again, yesterday we worked on just plank control, using the lower body, today upper body. So planks here, we're going to start in a tall plank position, you're going to drop one arm to the elbow down the opposite side, and then we're going to reverse. Left arm, right arm. Now we'll do the opposite direction. Left down, right, switch, right arm, left arm. Now, again, just like yesterday, tall plank too hard, go to the knees. This is an excellent developmental position and it'll work just the same. So again, down with the right, down with the left, up with the left, up with the right, reverse, here, 45 seconds, of plank up downs, okay? Sometimes on the floor it's nice to have a mat or a pad if you have a yoga mat or some carpet. That's nice on the elbows to do those. Okay, we're gonna finish up the circuit with left and right overhead press in a tall kneeling position, okay? So we're gonna go opposite leg forward as we're going to be pressing with the dumbbell, okay? So if we're gonna press with the right arm first, we're gonna go left leg forward in a lunge position a nice pillow or pad for the knee is good to keep the pressure off the joint. Opposite arm out for some stability. And slow and controlled, we're gonna press up overhead with that single dumbbell, down to the shoulder level, press and repeat. Okay, we're gonna do slow and controlled reps for 45 seconds here. We're gonna set the weight down, 15 second break to switch. Switch sides, right leg forward, left arm dumbbell front rack position, here, ribs down, abs crunched, okay, time to go, 45 seconds, press, up and overhead, 45 seconds here, that'll end your round, four rounds for the workout today, and we'll have you, have you uh, with us tomorrow for another great workout.